president has confidence in all of his cabinet and expects them to look forward. Not that it's in keeping with your administration. The Statue of Liberty says it can be your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, you're ready to breathe free. It doesn't say anything about speaking English or being able to uh, be a computer programmer. Uh, aren't you trying to... Great Britain and Australia. Jim, it's actually, I have to honestly say, I am shocked at your statement that you think that only people from Great Britain and Australia would know English. It's actually, it reveals your cosmopolitan uh, bias to a shocking degree that in your mind, no, this is an amazing, this is an amazing moment. This is an amazing moment. Country, yeah, that is one of the most outrageous, insulting, ignorant, and foolish things you've ever said. American workers. I apologize, Jim, if things got heated, but you did make some pretty rough insinuations. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll hand it over to Sarah. I think that went exactly as planned. I think that was what Sarah was hoping would happen.